Oh, she's on the cover. Yeah, we did it. Thanks. She did it. Yes, Hi, exactly. Nice to meet you. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you. And uh, well, as, as Penny Robin, Morgan, I mean, <laughs> just disappeared. You know, it's just I feel like I'm in the movie now. You know? um, well but as the outfit probably gives away. Although this is a spy movie, mm-hmm. there's a lot of comedy and a lot of fun in this film. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, what's funny about the outfit? <laughs> <laughs> really, that's just a, what I wear on a Saturday night. It's a very serious. Yeah. It's, that's not an outfit. <laughs> but is that what you were trying to go for? A sort of a spy movie, but lots of comedy and hilarious laugh out loud moments. Yeah, I wanted it to be a real spy movie, but I wanted it to, to be funny. And I didn't want it to be a spoof or a parody because, I mean, I enjoy those, but I like spy movies so much. I wanted to have the real action, the real danger, because I think it makes you invest in the characters more. And that definitely came because you were actually still wanting to know who's going to save the day and all about the agents, but yeah. lots of very funny lines. And uh, Jude, we get to see you looking very suave as a as an agent. Did you enjoy getting into the whole role with course, a, of course, you know, of course, living fantasy and, life, you know? Mm-hmm. And it, it does sort of make you think a little bit of a crossover to you know Bond. Were there any influences there? Did you look towards to like imagine yourself as like a Bond? Kind yeah, of it's character? interesting how that. Persona is sort of second net. Well, certainly to any, I would guess most British actors, it's something you've been doing as a kid, you know. Mm-hmm. So assuming that identity is not uh, uh, not so hard. I feel like I've been practicing it since I was about six. <laughs> and if that role ever came up, you know, seeing as you've done this, could you move quite quickly maybe, into that one? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Have you ever been asked? No, no, no. I haven't had the you know, the gold phone in the corner of my house is still not rung. <laughs> every every English actor has one. You plug it in and you, you just wait for that room. You're, are you ready? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, we want you. That's right. So it's a maybe if you ever did get the call. Yeah, so. sure. And uh, Paul, obviously, great cast. Then, did you have people in mind whenever you you wrote this movie? Yeah, I mean, I definitely had Miranda Hart in mind when I wrote that part, and, and uh, Jason Statham. Um, but then I had the lovely event of hearing that the Jude had read the script and was interested and I was like oh my you know because I didn't know who to cast in that role and I so think one of the first things I said to you was I was like okay I, I don't want to be forward but it, you, there's this great actress called Miranda Hart and you've written this but it sounds just like her, and you're like uh, yeah that's who I've written it it's for like, true, oh, yeah. so, and by the way I mean if you could get Jason to you're like yeah <laughs> it's good to see a lot of Brits in there though so oh, yeah, really oh yeah and of course leading lady Melissa was just amazing you must she have just been cracking up working mm. with her she's genius was there a lot of fun on set? Lots of laughing. Lots. It was a it was a apart. fantastically warm, creative, safe environment for all of the that that mining of mm-hmm. insane imagination to mm-hmm. let rip. Yeah, I like that. I, like, I never want a set where people don't feel that they can try anything because you know sometimes it's the thing. Even somebody will try something and go like, "That's weird," and then you get back to the editing room and realize it's perfect. And so I like people to do it whatever they want. <laughs> now in the film we talk about agent names and spy names and apparently it's the first, your first pet mm-hmm. plus the, your first street name. Mm-hmm. So mine would be Tigger Glenby. Tigger Glenby? Tigger Glenby, wow. if I was an agent, sounds a bit more porn story. But, you know, <laughs> well, they sound quite similar. Well, so, I think, that, yeah, yeah, I think exactly technically it is a porn star. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> so what would your um, agent stroke porn star names be? Banjo Hamden. Banjo, yeah. That's quite, that's decent enough. Although Sounds I think, a bit more like a country and western singer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Does actually. Hold the hand Rain hand. I think Bradley Fine works better, yeah, your agent name in the film. <laughs> yeah. And what would yours be, Paul? Uh, Terza Hancock. Ter- oh, I quite like that. Yeah, it's that nice, sounds right? a little bit Terza, sort of exotic. Yeah, so. ex- exotic, sort of biblical, sort of... <laughs> all rolled into one. Yeah, all completely nonsensical. <laughs> well, thank you very much for chatting to me. Um, it was great to see the movie. Glad you, you know, You're all set. a little bit serious today. You are, you this yet. is my new Saturday night outfit. I Has Melissa seen you yet? No, no, not yet. <laughs> you're, you're Penny Morgan. You are officially Penny She's Morgan. She's not now. my idol. Oh. So, but thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. Cheers.